What's up, friendos? It's me, it's me, it's Exotic MTG, and I'm super happy to explain what's about to happen. We're going to open three packs of Ultimate Masters. We had an awesome individual from our Discord purchase these packs from me for our raffle channel. Everyone got to enter that raffle for $1 per ticket, up to 10 tickets each, and all that money went to Sarah Smith. So really cool to be able to uh, do things like this. And we still got someone that, that won three packs of Ultimate Masters. So let's go ahead and crack these packs, see what we get. And um, and yeah, no matter what happens, uh, it was for a great cause. But we obviously want to get two Lilianas and a Karn, right? Let's open the odd man out first. Here we go. Good luck to our winner. Wish everyone could win, but that's... Just not reasonable. All right, here we go. Mark of a Vampire is the foil, and a Disrupting Shoal is the rare. Nothing. All right, the odd man out is out of the way. The bad pack is out of the way. Now let's open the good packs. Mahumuti Dijin is the foil. And a Fauna Shaman is the rare. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Shainer's Edict, that's decent. And a Golgari Thug, that's pretty good too. All right, third and final pack. We need to hit something here. We need to hear that uh, Price is Right jingles when we open up huge hits, such as this. Oh, sweet, a foil in tomb. I was right. I was feeling it. Foil in tomb. Awesome. Search your library for a card. Put that card into your graveyard. Then shuffle your library. And it's freaking foil. That is sweet. That is a hit. And so is this. Oh, it's not a huge hit, but Vaccine Devil is still pretty good. That was a decent pack right there. Uh, Treasure Cruise, there you go. But sweet, not bad at all. So we went over the Entomb already. It's foil, it's beautiful. Vexing Devil is one of my favorite red cards. It's a one red drop for a 4-3. When it enters the battlefield, you, uh, any opponent may have it deal four damage to them if a player does sacrifice Vexing Devil. It's kind of like a risk factor in a weird way, but that's how I would compare it. Fauna Shaman, our second best non-foil pull, is a 2 for a 2-2 two, two for 2, pay a green, tap it, discard a creature card, search your library for a creature card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Disrupting Shoal. Why are you so, so worthless? Let's find out. X in two blue for an instant, an arcane instant even. You may exile a blue card with converted mana cost X from your hand rather than pay this spell's mana cost. Counter target spell if it's converted mana cost is X. I guess it's just a lot to do to counter something when there's a lot of other counters out there. And so we don't really need to go over the other foils. We've got a treasure cruise in here. We got... Golgari Thug, the Chainer's Edict. I love Rune Snag. A, a, Gur a Gurmag Angler, a Foil. And that might be it. No Kadoma's Reach. So there you have it. Make sure you guys comment down below if you want to enter yourself to win a giveaway. And uh, congrats to our winner of the Foil in Tomb. See you guys on the next one. Four minutes and 30 seconds, not bad. Love, peace, and hair grease. I'm out.